Today is all about recognising the achievements of civil engineering. And this is what civil engineers do. We provide infrastructure for society uh, to boost the economy and to provide jobs and provide for our future. Ports principally underpin the economy. They, they provide trade. This is one of the major ports in Europe. We have to invest in this port to make sure it keeps pace with competition from Europe and that we can continue to supply goods and export goods to and from the UK. We're currently rebuilding part of, of the key number one and this will allow larger ships to come in, uh, bigger volumes of traffic to come in to the port and larger amounts of exports to be delivered from the port and this will strengthen the economy of the region, it will create more jobs for the region, not just here in the port but also for industry and commerce within the wider regional area. Quite a lot of the goods that come to the north of England are shipped into ports in the south that travels north by road. What this will enable us to do is to bring more of those goods directly into the north and reduce the amount of road traffic as a result of that. This whole area, of course, is, is uh, reinventing itself in terms of its industry. We have the traditional manufacturing being replaced by more advanced manufacturing, uh, new types of industry and commerce. And this area needs a world-class port facility to benefit from that. What's really innovative about this project is the way that the old dock area has been progressively removed and been replaced by the new dock area. This is needed because the new dock has to take heavier loading, it has to be more durable and it has to last for the next 50 to 100 years. And doing that on a live port is actually quite difficult. Well, I think McLaughlin and Harvey are really first-rate contracting team. What we've seen here is, is a really clever scheduling of the work. I've seen, we've seen real dedication and hard work to delivering the project on time and to budget. And for the, from the client point of view, that's really, really important because you cannot afford to have a lot of downtime and delay when you're working on a large active port like this. And I think what you will see uh, at the end of this project is a fabulous new facility which will last as well into the future. <laughs>